Greetings everyone. I hope you're doing well. Today is Thursday, April the 7th, and here's today's Seismic Watch. Looks like we've got lots of activity going on already. Largest being a 7.1 off the coast of Sendai here in Japan, which sadly will only further complicate the nuclear crisis already going on in this area. There was a tsunami warning issued and it's been lifted, so... You can see here where they've been reporting in. Pretty strongly felt in the breadbasket of the island here. And there was another significant quake in Central America. Right here, a 6.5. So this this is two pretty large earthquakes in one day. Again, I, I fear people that we're just just going to continue to accelerate until we have another 9.0 or maybe even greater than that magnitude earthquake. And all signs seem to point to right here off the Juan de Fuca subduction zone. Here in Washington yesterday, there was a, I believe it was a 3.4, yeah. This was widely felt as well. Intensity 3 clear up in Seattle, past Seattle. This is close to Mount Rainier as well. Lots of seismic activity today. Then they had this magnitude up here, I think this was a 3.4 or 3.5 northern Alaska and there was a similar quake about the same magnitude last week in this area but all through the Aleutians here you can see that there's bigger squares meaning three point magnitude or greater it's following the fault line here Yesterday, right around BB, there was another 3.0. I'm getting back to this 7.1 earthquake in Japan. Some people say there was two 7 point plus magnitude earthquakes. But, you know, who knows? It's Another thing that caught my eye was right here, you'll see, this was the bright light reported at the time of the earthquake. Watch this. This footage courtesy of Russia Today. Now, I've never seen this light phenomenon before during an earthquake, but people are claiming that it has happened before. And they're also claiming that this X-37B space plane classified on the classified orbit was in orbit over Japan at this time. Now how they acquired that information, I'll, I am unaware. But it, it has been visible from the ground to the naked eye. On space weather a couple days ago they were reporting on it. I did two videos on this space plane. So, you know, it could very well be related to this earthquake. Who knows? The boys at the Air Force ain't going to tell us what's going on. And then here at the end of this video, this is kind of ominous, you can see, watch all the lights going out here. Creepy people. It's going to further complicate the nuclear issue as I've said. And then here at Space Weather they're talking about the ripping fireball that was seen April the 5th. And they say again, spring is fireball season. I covered this in my previous videos. And here at the American Meteor Society you can see there was a lot of sightings. Southern California on the 5th. And there have been there was a lot of sightings yesterday as well on the 6th. These sightings around the Midwest and Southeastern USA. So 
So there's a lot going on right now, people, and a lot more that I can't cover here in this seismic watch, but look for more videos soon. Some of the things I want to address are this birther issue that Donald Trump has brought back into the spotlight. We all know there's something suspicious about the President of the United States, and it's becoming more and more apparent that people are noticing that. So stay tuned, people.